So if you're considering a move to Greenville, South Carolina, but you don't want to live in the city of Greenville, there's a lot of suburbs for you to consider. So we're going to compare two suburbs that are super popular today, Traveler's Rest and Simpsonville. So we're going to give you broad overviews at first, and then we'll compare them side by side and let you decide which one is the best for you. Let's do it. And as always, my name is Will Sawyer. I'm a local realtor here in the upstate of South Carolina. And our goal with this YouTube channel is to be your number one resource for all the things that you need to know about living in Greenville, South Carolina. So if you like the video, please do us a favor, like it, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comments. I'd love to meet you there in the comments. All right, so first let's talk about Simpsonville, South Carolina. And we've talked about Simpsonville in previous videos. And I've done a lot of information about Simpsonville on the channel. But here we are. It's Wednesday morning. Simpsonville, the small town, is bustling. And Simpsonville is just south of Greenville, about 10 or 15 miles south. It'll take you 20 to 25 minutes, depending on where you are in Simpsonville, to get into downtown Greenville. And Simpsonville has been on the rise for quite some time. You know, the land here is relatively flat. So builders have been able to come in over the last 20 years and really develop Simpsonville into what it is today. So Simpsonville's cut in half with 385 running through it. And 385 starts in Clinton where it merges with I-26 and it runs all the way into downtown Greenville. So on your northeastern side, of Simpsonville is 29681 zip code. And on that southwestern side or west of Interstate 385, that's gonna be your 29680 zip code. And according to census.gov, Simpsonville itself has about 30,000 people that live here. 74% uh, of the people that live here own the home that they live in. So Simpsonville's very residential heavy. Um, a lot of homeowners live here. Um, and there's a lot of communities that are very amenity rich, like walking trails, dog parks, swimming pools, playgrounds, etc. So pretty much everything that you would need is right here in Simpsonville. And Simpsonville is super convenient to all the things that we have on Woodruff Road and Fairview Road. So Fairview Road is gonna be in Southern Simpsonville and that's gonna have uh, First Watch, Target, tons of gas stations, Chick-fil-A. It's gonna be kind of your main shopping strip. And then if you wanted to go a little bit north, you'd go to Woodruff Road where Costco and Sam's and Dave and & Buster's, Trader Joe's are as well. So one thing that I really like about Simpsonville is you can find all types of communities here, whether it be new construction, a 20-year-old house, or a 60-year-old house in a neighborhood that's got big tall oak trees that tower over the streets. And another thing that I really like about Simpsonville is that no matter where you are, you're only about 15 minutes away from everything that you need. You know, we're 15 minutes from Woodruff Road, 15 minutes from Fairview Road, 15 to 20 minutes from the GSP International Airport, and you're super close to the interstates if you gotta go to Charlotte or Atlanta or down to Columbia. And as far as real estate prices go here in Simpsonville, it's pretty affordable. We're a little bit higher than the market average. Median price over the last 60 days in zip codes 29680 and 29681 is gonna come in right around $385,000. So now let's talk about Traveler's Rest. So we've talked about Traveler's Rest in previous videos, so be sure to check out Traveler's Rest all the things that you need to know on the homepage of the YouTube channel. So TR, or Traveler's Rest, is about 10 miles north of Greenville as you start going up to Asheville. So TR is convenient to the Blue Ridge Mountains, it's convenient to Asheville, um, and it's convenient to a lot of things outdoors. So to get the Traveler's Rest from, say, downtown Greenville, you'll take 276 up to the town of TR, 25 will break off from 276 and take you to Asheville. And then if you continue on 276 into Main Street, 
it'll eventually take you to Marietta. So we're standing now on the Swamp Rabbit Trail and this is a 22 mile old rail trail that starts in Traveler's Rest, winds behind Furman University, goes through downtown Greenville and currently terminates in Conistee Nature Preserve. And the Swamp Rabbit Trail has stimulated a lot of the growth that we've seen here in Greenville and it starts right here in Traveler's Rest. And if you wanna be on the trail on the weekends or in the evenings, a lot of people are attracted to living here in Traveler's Rest. And there's currently underway uh, several trail extensions. So most notably uh, along Verde Boulevard, Lawrence Road, both of which are south of, of, of Greenville. And as well as hopefully in Malden, which will connect the trail to Bridgeway Station, which we've talked about in other videos and future videos as well. So according to census.gov, there's about 10,000 people that live in Traveler's Rest. So compared to Simpsonville, it's a much smaller area. And 53% of the people that live here own the home that they live in. So not as many homeowners here, um, but still a super popular destination, especially more so in years past. In years past, Traveler's Rest has been the sleepy mountain town. Well, it's really not the case anymore. Right beside us is Highway 25. There's a plenty of cars going up and down the road. Um, Traveler's Rest has experienced a ton of growth in the last five years and for the better. Now, compared to Simpsonville, Traveler's Rest still feels like a sleepy mountain town. Or, you know, Simpsonville is still a smaller town, but comparatively speaking, Traveler's Rest is much smaller, much more low key, much more slower pace of life that you'll experience here compared to Simpsonville. When you visit Traveler's Rest, you're gonna quickly notice Paris Mountain and the big Blue Ridge Mountain views that it affords, as well as Main Street, which gives it that really quaint, small town, mountain town feeling. So now that we've given you an overview of both Traveler's Rest and Simpsonville, let's do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the two towns. So Traveler's Rest first. Um, if you need to be closer to the mountains, you want convenience to Asheville, you like to go to Asheville a lot, Traveler's Rest definitely gonna be a better spot for you because it's significantly closer to the mountains than say Simpsonville is. It's probably gonna be 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes closer to Asheville and to all of the trails um, and hiking that you can do in the Blue Ridge. One thing to note about TR is it's just now getting significant amenities like Starbucks and like a lot of fast food chain restaurants and a lot of business growth is just now coming into Traveler's Rest, whereas in Simpsonville, it's been like that for a long time. Uh, if you're an outdoor person, you know, if you like to run, if you like to cycle, if you like to hike, Traveler's Rest possibly will be a better fit for you because of its convenience to the Swamp Rabbit Trail and its convenience to more trails to go and run on and to go and hike on than say Simpsonville has. And last but not least, if you want a quieter, more tranquil way of life, uh, Traveler's Rest might be a better fit for you. You know, you have uh, communities like the Cliffs Valley up north of Traveler's Rest um, and other communities that are really gonna give you uh, mountain living at its finest um, and then just give you, you know, conveniences to a town but also living a little bit more remote than you are going to be living in Simpsonville and what's called a true suburb. So now let's compare Simpsonville to Traveler's Rest. So um, if you decide Simpsonville is a better place for you to live, well, you're gonna have a little bit more hustle and bustle in Simpsonville. There's more uh, business in Simpsonville, there's more residences in Simpsonville, there's gonna be more traffic in Simpsonville, but you'll also be closer to a lot more amenities. Like all the things that you have on Woodruff Road and Fairview Road, like Costco, Bass Pro Shop, Sam's, Target, um, Chick-fil-A, right? All these things that you might need on a daily basis are probably gonna be a little bit more convenient to you in Simpsonville than they would be Traveler's Rest. 
And if you're looking for a little bit more of a suburban feel, if you want to be closer to things, if you want to be closer to uh, conveniences for your kids um, or conveniences to Greenville or just south of Greenville, Simpsonville might be a better spot for you because you're probably not going to be driving as far to those things if you live in Simpsonville as you would in Traveler's Rest. So there you have it, Traveler's Rest and Simpsonville. These are two great options for suburbs around Greenville for you to consider moving to. And if you are considering a move to our area, I would love to personally chat with you about that move. So please call me at my number below or text me, or you can email me at my email below. And I would love to chat with you. And remember, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment in the comment section, and I would love to have you subscribe to the channel so you can follow along as we tell more people about our awesome area. Thanks so much.